Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you'll find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing video and I'll be unboxing a Waterfly Sling Bag Small Backpack. This is an anti theft crossbody day pack or a backpack and it has various features which will uh, go over it once I open the uh, box. Uh, the package came just like this, there's no other box or anything else, so it's still intact and still intact. And I'd like to mention that uh, this is a paid or affiliated review, so I purchased this with my own money. So some of the feature this one actually has is that uh, it has uh, it's made of a cotton linen material which is water repellent and easy to clean and anti friction and then it has a hidden a zipper pocket uh, which would be helpful to keep valuables like wallet bank or passport and then uh, it has uh, it can change or adjust the length according to the needs of the strap and then uh, it has uh, anti theft technology uh, to uh, keep, uh, keep it away from uh, tips. Uh, for example, it has a strap proof shoulder strap, burglar proof zipper, and buckle. So, as you open this, we'll uh, take a look at those. And also, it has uh, it's good for like in you know, a small tablet, phone, passport, wallet, stuff like that. But uh, if you're trying to uh, put in a laptop, uh, like uh, let's say 10 inch or 13 inch, it's not going to fit in here. So that's something uh, that should be something uh, bigger than this not this bag so let's uh, start uh, opening the bag I do not have a knife or scissor but I think I'll not be needing one so I was able to unwrap it very quickly so just put aside the plastic cover and this is our waterfly sling small backpack okay so what I'll do I'll get rid of this uh, thing first and then okay so I can I can tell that you know this uh, this is uh, slash proof so once you are hanging it on your holder this should be you know hard to slash because of its uh, anti-theft feature and let's take a look at some of the other stuff so it has back hidden zipped pouch uh, which is right here so here okay so that's right here and here you can put your like in a wallet bank card and passport and stuff like that and let me close this one And this is, uh, strap should be slash proof. However, when I'm uh, you know touching it, I cannot feel any like you know steel material or any wire inside it. So it, uh, it looks like the slash proof is due to its design, but nothing like you know made of steel or anything inside it because I cannot feel anything. So I'm not sure what they use, but there's no like you know wire or anything to feel like slash proof and the zipper is supposed to be burglar proof okay so what do you do you loosen this up and then it moves a little bit and then you can just like you know push it in and then once you just like you know tighten it again so that kind of protects the zipper so look from the back or even from the front no one can just you know easily open the zipper and take stuff from inside so that's a security feature and then there's burglar proof buckle which is let's take a look here okay so the same sort of feature again right here and same idea so as you can see that this one so you can just like you know tighten this up and it's not moving anymore so 
no one can just like you know take it move away from the strap and run with the back okay so let's see what other features we have here so it's supposed to have okay actually there's two uh, buckle hole so what it means that if you're left-handed or right-handed uh, in order to put on the shoulder you can actually change it from here to here or here to here based on you know if you're left or right-handed so that's a good feature to have because uh, you know it makes it very versatile for everyone to use it and let's take a look here okay so what I'll do let me open this thing and then see what sort of a space we have inside it okay so here is a like you know kind of uh, another feature which just I don't think it's magnetic it just looks like a button type of feature it just holds it and then if you're trying to open it then you can see the space inside is very small uh, it's not big so good for uh, tablet phone passport keys stuff like that but not for computer or laptop but you know that that's good because I don't want to carry like you know too much or bulky things so this is just perfect if you're trying to carry something very small a few items uh, when you're you know traveling or you're out and uh, I believe that's all the sections we have okay so in case you're wondering from from here to here this portion is 13 inch and this portion is 6.7 inch and this is only 2.76 uh, or 75 inch so this is very like you know small and handy okay so this hole here which is actually a feature for your earphone out so once you let's say you have your uh, tell uh, your cell phone and you want to listen to music you can just like you know take it out of this through this hole and you can put it on your ear so you don't have to like you know leave your phone outside or in your pocket to listen to music so this hole is very practical and it's a good feature and let me see if there's anything else I can talk about so looks like that's all there is so comparing the price this is uh, looks like you know a good and sturdy product uh, originally this is about $30 Canadian but I bought it on sale for $20 which uh, is that I cannot you know go wrong for $20 looks like uh, this is going to last and again this is not a paid or affiliated review I purchased this with my own money so that's all for here uh, if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and on this channel I do financial travel and unboxing videos so I do not do only one type of uh, topic so there are in a variety of videos and topic and please subscribe and i'll see you shortly with the next video thank you for watching